Winners. With God, I am a winner. Hello children. How do you feel this morning after the weekend? As the PE teacher to his students who happily entered the gym. And he went all to tell them, May you feel good. Now, before we start with the physical exercises, I am going to ask you a question. And whoever answers correctly will choose which exercises or game he wants us to do. And he asked them, Do you know any events that take place every four years? Promptly, Ivan replied, The World Cup, sir. While Lisa answered, The Olympic Games, sir. And Ben told him, When we have a leap year. Well done, the three of you responded well, the teacher told them, as he continued. And today, we will be watching a short video clip about the Olympic Games. And then, talk a little about it as well. Anyone can then make a chart about the international sporting events, held by thousands of athletes worldwide in both winter and summer sports competitions. You can also search online about the history of the Olympic Games, what they are so called, and the symbols of the Olympic Games. You can draw these too. In the video clip, the children watched how all the athletes who compete to win a cup or medal must be self-disciplined, focused and trained every day, thus become better but the best. After watching the video clip, the teacher used it as a prompt for discussion with the children and said, Now that we have seen these brilliant athletes winning their competitions, I want you to think how in your daily life you too can be a winner. After some time thinking, one of the children said, I am a winner when I identify the talents that God has given me and use them for the good of others. Another child said, I am a winner whenever I am careful about my actions in doing what God wants and what pleases him. And the girl said, Instead of lying, I try to tell the truth. Instead of stealing what is not mine, I try to help those in need. Some other children said, Instead of being angry, I forgive others, and instead of saying bad words, I speak well and respectfully. And when I feel jealous of others' possessions, I am grateful for all that I have. The teacher praised the children and invited them to look at the silver cup on the podium by the side of the gym. He said, Now, those of you who want to, may go in front of the silver cup and read what is engraved on it. The children walked carefully one after the other and began to read. To win over your weaknesses and win the most beautiful cup in the world, pray to God to help you do what is right and thus live a good life. Remember that God is always with you to help you overcome evil.